Oh hi there fellow traveler, I hope that you're doing great and that the day is treating you good. My name is Matilda and this is Elias and we have been traveling around New Zealand for the last couple of months now and in today's video we're gonna guide you through the Northern Ireland. We will talk about the things that you cannot miss and give you some tips along the way. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Okay, so let's start out with the beachiest beaches of New Zealand. If you want the more chill vibe and you want beautiful beaches, then the northland of the northern island in New Zealand is perfect for you. So this is at the very top of the northern island. Uh, and here you have Cape Ringa, I think you pronounce it like that, with the famous lighthouse and the most beautiful beaches. But you also have Paihia, where you can swim with dolphins or take the ferry out to Russell which is the ever first capital of New Zealand and that is pretty cool. If we're gonna move a little bit more south we have Coromandel and we have already made a little video about what you can't miss when you're in Coromandel. I will link that down below but here you have also like really beautiful beaches but you also have Cathedral Cove and one scene from Narnia was actually recorded here so you should definitely go but bring your hiking shoes because that's kind of a bit of a walk down to Cathedral Cove unless you take the water taxi which is pretty cool you should definitely do that one way at least and if you like to surf I only have one place in mind for you and that is Raglan in Raglan you have like I think you can call it a black beach which is pretty much lava sand uh, you have amazing waves you have amazing surfing schools and you have the best fish and chips so if you're keen for surfing and just chilling, you know, get a good vibe and all of this, definitely go to Raglan. Moving even more south, next up is Hobbiton in Matamata. I don't think that I need to say that much about Matamata and Hobbiton, except from to all of you Lord of Rings fans and Hobbiton fans, you should definitely go. And uh, this is, it's super nice. It's super cute and I'm not like the biggest fan of Lord of the Rings or Hobbiton but I definitely liked it over there. It's so cute and if you're going during lunch you should definitely go for the buffet as well. And if you like chocolate the desserts are actually the best. Everything is almost in chocolate and it was just amazing. And also you get to taste a Hobbit beer. And if you go to Hobbiton you will actually taste a Hobbit beer, which is really good. We actually bought one because it was delicious. We haven't opened it yet, but it might be time soon. To celebrate good time. Come on. And yeah, and we have an upcoming video about Hobbiton, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that one out. Okay. Next up is my favorite town in the Northern Ireland and it is Rotorua. See in the video that we have made from Rotorua, I will also link that down below. It is... It was so, so much fun. I, we have been there I think it like four or five times now and you never run out of things to do which is really, really nice. You can go up a small mountain uh, with a gondola and ride with a luge and we have ride the luges in Queenstown but apparently the luge in Rotorua is supposed to be even better and we haven't done that so if anyone has done both please comment down below and let me know which one you think was the best. You also have the redwood tree walk which you can do during the night time and the daytime and we did it during the night time. A major cue to wait until you can start the tree walk and that made it not worth it. I think we stood in line for like one hour or even more than that but you will walk as high up as 70 meters up in the trees and that is crazy. crazy it was so much fun that i was so scared but i can promise you that you don't have to be scared just enjoy the moment and look around try to see down try and look up you know you know you have to enjoy the moment because i kind of regret that i didn't because i was too, too scared i'm shit scared <laughs> relax and enjoy and you will be having a, an amazing time rotorua is famous for the maori culture geothermal wonders and mountain biking the large number of lakes and rivers and also its fun activities we actually went rafting here with the biggest commercial drop at seven meters and that was crazy Rotorua does really smell like rotten eggs, but you will get used to it, so don't worry about that either. We stayed at a hostel called Solid Backpackers, which was very nice. It was 
very clean and in the middle of town it was just perfect we do also already have a video up for Rotorua so I will link that down below for you so you can watch that so we are driving a little bit further south now from Rotorua down to Taupo which is an amazing city for all of you backpackers uh, Lake Taupo is actually the biggest freshwater lake in both Australia and New Zealand it, it is almost as big as Singapore and that is crazy, that's so big. Lake Taupo is the crater of one of the largest volcanic eruptions Earth has seen in the last 5,000 years. How cool is that though? Taupo is really a city for everyone. You have activities that brings out the adrenaline, but you also have activities that's perfect for families. So if you're looking for adrenaline activities, you can, among a bunch of stuff, go skydiving and jet boating and I definitely recommend that. If you're looking for the more family friendly stuff you can go for the hole in one challenge which is you standing on land trying to make a hole in one out on a raft in the lake and this is really really hard but you should definitely try it out. Oh and Taupo as I said is one of the stops on the Kiwi experience which makes this a perfect place if you're traveling alone because there's a bunch of people here that are alone and looking for company uh, maybe you find someone that you can travel along the rest of the island with and it's just perfect. Uh, we need to put in some nature and give you a little bit of time to breathe the fresh air of New Zealand. So next up is Tongariro National Park. I have one word for this place and that is wow. Wow. If you like hikes you have plenty here. They vary from 20 minutes to hours and they also have a crossing uh, which is called the Tongariro Crossing. In Tongariro you have beautiful landscape with an awesome contrast of heat and snowy mountains. Also, if you like Lord of the Rings, you do have Mount Doom. We have done a video about Tongariro as well and I will link that down below among the other ones. So if you're going down to the South Island, next up from here is actually Wellington. So just keep driving, you will see and come across a lot of stops so just take your time and stop at every single place that you want to because the nature down here coming down south is so beautiful so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we upload every Thursday and Monday New Zealand time though so stay tuned for more videos that's all for today thank you so much for watching